Hey there. So those are two Kohl's bags that we have some stuff packed in. But Brian and I are getting ready to head out to Warsaw, Missouri. I don't know why I said it Missouri, but anyway, we're going to the Truman Lake area and we have a house that we're verboing. They're calling it a cottage. We've never gone there before and so it's kind of out of the way in Warsaw and so I think we'll have a lot of time where we spend hunkering down. We're taking the sea dew even though it's cooled off quite a bit. It's still going to be like in the mid 70s but then the lows are going to be in the 40s Fahrenheit so it's going to be chilly um, but we're just really looking forward to it. It's Thursday by the way. I was saving the vlog you know instead of the boring life stuff trying to save it for hopefully we'll have some stuff to show you on our little trip and so um, this is that we have this trip and then one next month and then we're done with our lake trips for the year so they're winding down I'm feeling a little sad about that but mostly happy just because I know this is gonna be a lot of fun and so we'll be sharing it with you Okay, so we just walked in the door to the little cottage. You come in and there's like a, another one of the places where they have like a little guest book. And here's the living room. Pretty, pretty sizey. I mean, good. Yeah. I like the flooring. The flooring it's like the wood pretty. tile. It's, it's cool. It's like a little deck. Okay, look, here's the kitchen. I was looking for lights. So here's the kitchen. There's like a little seating area. Oh, that's a really cool picture. That's what the outside of the place looks like. So here's the kitchen. Oh, Brian, they do. They have the a regular coffee pot, pot, ugh, coffee pot manicure. We brought a coffee pot just in case. Here's the kitchen. It's a nice little kitchen. It's got everything yeah. you need. Not too bad. I like it's got nice windows all around. The windows out. It's got a big okay, so, yard. Oh my gosh, Brian, in the bathroom. <laughs> what? Oh, the avocado <laughs> towel. Yeah. yeah. Here's the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Is that avocado? No, uh, that's like that's mint. That's kind of mint. That's yeah. like more mint. I like it. It's totally classic. I think they it's left it actually. It's in good shape. House. It's totally clean. Oh wow. And the bedroom's nice. And then here's the bedroom. The bedroom's not bad. Look, you got a view of the lake for the bedroom too. Yeah, the bedroom's got a view of the lake. Not too shabby. It's a cozy little cottage, just like they said. I'm blinded by the sun. Yeah, you're looking out to the, you see the sunset for sure. And it goes like, did you notice, Brian, that it goes like in a, a circle? 
Yeah, yeah. So now we're back. That's how Frank's house is set up. We're that back in like that. a. Yeah, you got a rotate. So it went through kitchen and then it's just a circle. Mm -hmm. The back of the bedroom or the back bedroom has two doors. And then there's a. I was wondering. Here's like a little closet. Mm -hmm. And then here's the little back deck and a backyard. And there's the lake. Right there. <laughs> I just love it. It's it's definitely a cute little cottage. This is awesome. It is. That's perfect. It's exactly what it's supposed to be. Is that it? Okay, that's it. That's it. It'll just hang. Yeah, that's fine. That's it. We're good. Okay. Here's your other piece. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So what I just showed you was a flat tire on the truck. And really super nice neighbor because um, we were screwed so we drove down to like the little end that's got a ramp which come to find out we can't use it for the sea-do anyway but there was all this gravel and everything but not just gravel also all these sharp rocks so we we're pulling the truck we we're trying to go around this roundabout and all of a sudden you just heard like like a pop and shh, you know, all the, all this air coming out of the tire. We barely made it back up to the house. It, the tire was down to 10 pounds. And so Brian was like trying to get it backed up because we saw the sea -Doo hooked on it. And it was just, it worked perfectly because by the time the tire was d done, we had just got it parked and everything. And so then we're like, what are we going to do? You know, because there's a spare on the truck, but Brian was like, it's a 17-inch rim, these are 20, How you know, you're not supposed to drive a four-wheel drive truck, blah, 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 all this stuff. And so he was all worried, and so he was out there, and there was a neighbor, and he was driving by on um, his four-wheeler, offered to help. And so Brian's like, where do you get tires around here? And... So the guy told him, you know, a place here that's an, a good place, 10 minutes from time to close. So, I mean, we're not going to be able to get up there and get tire a tire. But so Brian called him and he's like, the guy's really nice. So Brian calls. And plus, I should have prefaced by saying the truck needs tires. It just went over the mileage for needing new tires. And so Brian's been pricing them and stuff. And so anyway he got a hold of the owner the owner was there and the owner and so Brian talked to him long story short Brian's taking the truck up in the morning he can drive on the spare the guy told him the way that they work is yeah the wheel isn't as tall but the tire is extra tall so it'll be even and so you don't have to worry about messing your transmission up on a four-wheel drive or anything like that they're designed that way and so he's like you'll be able to make it here no problem and so they've got the tires in stock they're the ones Brian has been looking for, and they're cheaper in Warsaw than they are at home. So it's going to take a few hours of time, you know, out of our little vacation, but we think it's going to work out. And then this guy is so nice. His name is Dave. He's just super nice. He's out there helping Brian right now because Brian didn't know how to get the spare tire off of the truck. It's a whole thing. And so it's just... You know, you just, it just feels like in times of need, you get the help you need. So, anyway, that's what they're out there doing now. And, uh, so, yeah, let's just, hopefully everything will work out tomorrow. And we can get everything back on track. So, but that's what's going on. <laughs> it is. Friday morning, Brian's sitting out there looking at the lake. We just got done making and eating our breakfast. We're just waiting for the tire shop to call. So, I don't know if I told you guys, I Marco Poloed with my mom a little bit. So. I don't remember what I've said on the vlog and what I've said to my mom, but um, 
we love this little cottage. It's really neat. It's really cool. It has like everything you would need except for they don't have like, they have a TV, but it doesn't have like TV. <laughs> There's no antenna, no cable. They said in their book that you have to, they have a Chromecast on it. So you have to like download the Chromecast app and so I did that and I'm going to end up taking it off my phone because basically all you can do is like cast from your phone to the TV. So, but in our vacation stuff, we, I really can't remember if I told you guys this already. I'm sorry if I'm duplicating, but we, we always have a fire TV stick. So you know, because at night we have a hard time falling asleep with no sound. So we always just put the TV like on sleep so you can fall asleep to something and then it just turns off while you're sleeping. And so last night we fell asleep to Dateline because <laughs> those are really easy to listen to and stuff. So, but um, it also has like um, live TV on a channel. It's X U M O Zumo, or I think is how you pronounce it, but it's X U M O. And like right now, we have on in the kind of in the background Betty White. Remember, she used to have that I think it was called the Pet Set uh, show, and I had seen where they were talking about that right after she passed away, but I couldn't find where you could watch it. Well, you can see it on there. It's one of the things they have. But, um, like if you search TV shows, but it also has live TV, like different channels and stuff. So last night we were watching old Price is Right, like yesterday evening, and it's like, it's actually turned out really good. So, but yeah, now we're just waiting for that tire shop to call. They said between 10 and 2, so we're hoping it's closer to 10, but we'll see. And so that's, you know... Just need to get that done and then we'll be good to go and we can get the sea dew out on the water. We don't, we're not planning on doing that anyway till later in the afternoon because like this morning it's only 39 degrees. It's like we're not going to be out on the water in that kind of temperature. So yeah, so I'm just we're, like it's right now it's too chilly outside. I went out there with Brian but I'm like freezing so I'm just waiting for the temperature to get up a little bit. In the meantime, I'm walking circuits you know, just to get some exercise. And so, like I said, we just made breakfast, just got done doing the dishes, and just real relaxing. Oh, and let me show you for a snack last night. Like dinner, we made chicken breast tenders, potatoes, and they had these veggie kebabs at this little grocery store. We're so glad the way we timed things, because yesterday on the way here, we passed this little bitty grocery store. We decided to stop there and go ahead and get groceries on the way to the cottage. And I'm so glad we did because then we had, cause we would have been screwed. <laughs> cause we couldn't have gone anywhere, you know, with the truck. I guess we could have on the spare, but they don't, you know, it's like, you know, on a spare tire, you're not supposed to go long distances and stuff like that. So. Anyway, so luckily we had dinner. We have dinner for tonight and last night. We had breakfast stuff we bought, and we bought some snacks. Well, I bought this microwave popcorn and it was so good. We don't have it by us, but let me, sh I'll show it to you. It's, it's Cousin Willie's and they had the kettle corn and they had also like regular, they had like movie theater butter, extra butter, white cheddar and kettle corn and I almost got the white cheddar but I got this one because it was the last one so I thought okay if it's the last one it must be good and I'm glad I got it because it was it was really really good so now I'm ready to I want to try another flavor so that was really good
Okay, so the video I just showed you, we went into downtown Warsaw. We're still waiting for the tires to come in. Brian went and talked to the guy so he knows we're down here. They're just waiting for them to come in on a shipment. And so walking around downtown Warsaw, where that's the antique shop that we go to when we come down here and just walking around. And we didn't even realize it, but it's homecoming. So that was their homecoming parade. And so we were watching that and they showed like the the candidates for the prom king and queen and all that kind of stuff so that was really fun and so now brian's gonna drop me off at walmart <laughs> of all places just so i can walk around while he goes back to the tire shop and waits so it's probably be a while in walmart but um roll up the windows but it's me I can spend some time in Walmart so but the last time we were down here was when we found the surprise fireworks display yeah the makeup yeah um, fireworks display yeah sure enough. so and then we come down this time and we have the surprise parade and so it was just fun so just we felt special to get two times we've ran into something special so awesome but now we need to run into the tire distributor truck to <laughs> run into benton county tire because he said it comes between 10 and 2 and it's 129 and we haven't gotten the call yet so i want to get the call so we can get over there and get some tires on this truck so we can put this weekend back on the regular plan yeah <laughs> Okay, so we have the new tires, but it's too late in the day now to get out on the water. Yeah. But so we're down at the river walk. Yes. We're gonna go for a nice walk and then we're gonna go out to eat. So Yep, then we're gonna watch the sunset and then we're gonna get up in the morning and we're gonna start all over again. But this time we're gonna have a nice long sea dew day. We're gonna go probably go on the lake and we'll also go on the river tomorrow. So it's gonna be nice. Yeah, and we're still having a really great time. So here's the ramp that when we go to the river where we water's low guys. Put the sea dew in. Everything is low. Here's the trail we're walking on. Looks like they're getting ready to put new, like, parking, I don't know what they call those, the blockers or stoppers or whatever. beautiful day today. I actually would be more comfortable in a t-shirt than a sweatshirt, but it's just beautiful.
it is Saturday morning. It's 41 degrees outside. You will be taking the sea dew out, but we're going to wait till it warms up a little bit. <laughs> Permit or day permit, it's like five dollars to launch from here because we are getting ready to get out on the sea dew. on the water. That's the dam over there. Truman Dam. There's somebody putting a pontoon on the water. I'm just waiting for Brian to park the truck and then I'm going to go over there and pick him up. You can see that fall is starting to touch the trees. See lots of fishermen out today. All right, we finally got on the water out here at Truman. It's the last, probably the last day out on Truman for the year. It's October first, twenty twenty-two. But it's a beautiful fall day, guys. Everything is just couldn't ask for something better. Perfect clouds. Lots of pelicans out here. Tons of wildlife. We've seen foxes this morning. Seen a little bit of everything. We saw on the river last night. Look at Angie. She's all done up so she can. She looks like a robin. Because <laughs> you get to move in and it gets a little. Chilly. Gets a little chilly. But it's alright. It's warming up. It's only, it's like 1230. So it's getting warmer. But either way, last night, when we were walking down by the river, we uh, seen a mink. It's the second time that we've seen a mink out here, down by Truman Lake. And he didn't see us, so we were able to just watch him for a while. It was really cool, just walking along the river, um, the big rocks and stuff, 
down by the water's edge on the river. He'd get in the water and swim around a little bit and then hop back out and just making his way down along looking for food. Leaves are starting to change. So we're done on Truman Lake and now we're going to go, we, we're putting gas in the Sea-Doo, we're at Casey's and next we're going to go on to the Osage River. Out on the Osage River. I was trying to get an angle for the sun. The sun is like setting, going down. It's a little after 6 p.m. now, so we're done on the river. Now we're heading back to the cottage. We're gonna have showers and make some dinner. And uh, we had such a good day. We spent the whole day just out on the water we did the the first time we've ever done in the same day we did the lake and the river and it was really cool but we wanted to do that because this is probably the last time we're gonna have the sea dew out for the season because we need to winterize it and it's getting cold and stuff again unless you know during the week if it gets really warm and we want to try to go one time local we might do that but it might it could very well be it for the sea dew for the season, but we're still planning on doing the kayaks, so shouldn't be done for the lake unless something really cr crazy goes on with the weather. But so you might have see Brian see Brian back there just checking the trailer real quick. But it's been a great day. Now we're back and the sun is starting to set. It never shows as good on a camera as it does with your eyes. Who's prettier just a minute ago? Coming down the stairs. Which are pretty steep. Sunday morning. It's our last morning. Okay, we made it home safe. Now we're gonna start getting all unpacked and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the vlog up for the week. We had such a nice little weekend getaway, long weekend getaway. 
We've got one more for the year, and then it's gonna be many months. <laughs> so, yeah. But anyway, <laughs> thank you for joining us for the vlog this week, and I hope you come back next week, even for the boring weeks. <laughs> Bye.